investigation. The Consumer Product Safety Commission just announced a recall to repair more than 2,000 stadium lights. Now, in November, the Target 12 investigators revealed how these massive lights were falling without warning on ball fields nationwide. Susan Hogan joins us now with those developing details. Well, when we first reported on this a few months ago, we found some of these lights on a Little League field in Rhode Island. Tonight, we're learning those lights, along with 2,500 nationwide, are being recalled and must be inspected before being turned on again. As of today, the Consumer Product Safety Commission has confirmed 11 incidents in which Whitco Stadium poles fell, the latest in March at a ball field in Texas. Thank God nobody was out there. Although there have been no injuries, there certainly have been a lot of close calls. These massive steel lights cracking under pressure have come tumbling down. When the Target 12 investigators first reported on this massive safety alert in November, we found these poles at a Little League field in Exeter. I'm, I'm having to fail this one. The CPSC recommended all Whitco poles be inspected. The president of the Exeter Little League, Ron Patalano, allowed us to watch their inspection firsthand back in the fall. And I have to reject it. This one checked out fine. In all, six poles inspected, two failed. Patalano suspended play until the poles were repaired. Now the CPSC is once again alerting schools and towns of what they call an extremely serious concern and are hoping to get all Whitco poles inspected and repaired immediately before another one falls. And unfortunately, Wicco has gone bankrupt, so schools and towns have to pay for the inspections and any repairs that need to be done. With the Target 12 Investigators, I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.